Stocks ticked higher Friday as traders headed toward the end of a choppy week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 69 points, or 0.2%. The S&P 500 rose 0.7%, while the Nasdaq Composite advanced 1.1%. Week to date, the S&P 500 is up 0.1%, while the Dow is on pace to drop about 2.2%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq is the outperformer, with a gain of 1.3%. The Dow is set to snap a five-week winning streak, and the S&P 500 on pace to break a four-week positive streak. As concerned, the Federal Reserve won't cut interest rates this summer overshadowed a blockbuster earnings report from NVIDIA. After several strong economic and labor data releases this week, Goldman pushed its forecast for the Fed's first rate cut back to September from July. Inflation is likely to be much improved by September, but hardly perfect, and still at a year-on-year -year rate that makes cutting a less-than-obvious decision," wrote Goldman economist David Maracle. Shares of Workday fell more than 14% Friday after the company reduced its subscription revenue guidance for the full year. Intuit also fell 8% on week forward guidance. Meanwhile, Decker's Outdoor surged 13.6% after posting an earnings and revenue beat. Wall Street is coming off a rocky session with the Dow posting its worst session since March 2023, even after NVIDIA rallied to record highs off of its fiscal first quarter report. That NVIDIA couldn't support the market underscores that even the most powerful company within the S&P 500 can't fight the Fed, said Quincy Crosby, chief global strategist for LPL Financial. The S&P 500 is on track to finish the week little changed following a volatile period of trading. First Solar is the biggest winner in the index and on pace for a 39% gain and its best week since April 2013. Moderna and Hoka owner Decker's Outdoor have surged 27% and 15%, respectively. NVIDIA is headed for a 14% week-to-date jump following another strong quarterly report and guidance. Other major winners include Analog Devices, Enphase Energy and Constellation Energy, with gains of 8% or more. Nordson Corporation and Dayforce lead the weekly losers, with shares down about 12% each. Walgreens Boots Alliance has slumped more than 11%, while Target and Lululemon Athletica are headed for weekly losses of 9%. Samantha Subin Artificial Intelligence is even more of a buzzword in corporate America as the technology continues to infatuate society. So far this earnings season, 199 companies in the S&P 500 have cited AI on calls, according to FactSet data, that surpassed the prior record of 182 set in the second quarter of 2023 to become the highest going back to at least 2014. By comparison, the average number of company mentions over the past five years is just 80. Among those 199 companies, AI came up an average of 11 times. The term was mentioned at least 50 times on the calls of 12 companies including Meta, Nvidia, and Microsoft. Alex Herring check out the companies making headlines in midday trading. Ross Stores, the discount retailer popped nearly 10% on strong first quarter results. Ross Stores posted earnings of $1.46 per share on $4.86 billion in revenue. That topped the earnings per share of $1.35 and $4.83 billion in revenue expected by analysts polled by LSEG. Booz Allen Hamilton, the defense contractor's shares added 3.8% on the heels of a quarterly revenue and earnings beat. Booz Allen posted adjusted earnings of $1.33 per share in its fiscal fourth quarter, while analysts surveyed by FactSet expected $1.23 in earnings per share. Revenue came out at $2.77 billion, slightly higher than analysts' forecast of $2.72 billion. Coinbase Shares of the crypto services firm jumped 5% after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission approved a rule change Thursday evening that opens the doors to exchange-traded funds that buy and hold Ether, the second-largest cryptocurrency. Robinhood gained 3.9%. During Friday's trading session, 26 stocks in the broader S&P 500 hit new 52-week highs. Names that reached this milestone include. On the other hand, Brown Foreman, Becton Dickinson, Bristol Myers and Solventum were trading at new 52-week lows. Lisa Kailai Han, Christopher Hayes the Dow Jones Industrial Average is on pace to lose around 2% for the week. Shares of Boeing and Home Depot, which are down 6.7% and 5.2% for the week, 
respectively, have pulled down the index. Out of the 30 stocks in the Dow, only Microsoft, Walmart, IBM, and Apple are positive week to date. Hake Young Kim, the University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Index results released Friday showed that consumers hold greater uncertainty about future buying plans, which could pressure spending in the summer, according to LPL Financial. The Fed believes the risks to the outlook are roughly in balance so inflation has to convincingly ease before.